So today I'm talking about a Toyota with the P0157 code, what it is and how you go about fixing it. So what is a Toyota P0157 code? Well, it's an O2 sensor circuit low voltage, bank two sensor two. And what does this mean? Well, the onboard computer uses sensors located on the exhaust to know how much oxygen has been burnt off during combustion. And it's seen a problem with one of these. So it's gonna have to be troubleshooting to know why. And some of the possible causes, well, it could be a bad sensor, it could be in the wiring, like an open or a short, and possibly a blown fuse. And so the first thing to do when you get this code is to go locate bank two, sensor two, oxygen sensor, and there can be some differences. It's really gonna depend on the year and engine type of your Toyota. And so it's always a good idea to go get a diagram for where everything's at for your particular Toyota engine and year. For example, this is a 2007 Camry with a 3.5 liter V6. And bank one is always the side of the engine with the number one cylinder. So if you find the number one cylinder that'll be bank one and then the opposite is going to be bank two and then sensor two is going to be the second one going down on that side of the exhaust and so as you can see right here here's bank two sensor two is right here right after the catalytic converter so first thing to do is to go locate where this bank two sensor two is on your toyota and the basics of what's going on with these oxygen sensors is that the sensor one is going to be called the upstream oxygen sensor and it's before the catalytic converter and sensor two is going to be located after the catalytic converter and it's called the downstream oxygen sensor and so sensor two is going to be called the downstream oxygen sensor and once you locate the sensor the next thing to do is to go check out this wiring real good be sure there's no cuts opens or anything like this be sure it's not burnt on the exhaust and basically just keep in mind that anything wrong with the wiring open short anything like this is going to cause the same symptoms as a bad sensor so you just want to check that out and be sure that it's all connected good and another thing to keep in mind is that this is going to be on a fuse there'll be a fuse box inside of the engine compartment and there'll be a fuse inside of there somewhere for this they can be labeled differently so it's really going to vary for example this is a 2005 toyota tacoma fuse box and right here it says af heater that's the fuse for this the reason it says heater is because many of these sensors also have small heating elements in it to monitor the catalytic converter so this is an air fuel ratio heater sensor it has both inside of it and if this fuse blows then it could cause a problem there's also a relay on this particular vehicle and there was a problem with that it would also cause an issue and so that's just something to keep in mind that a blown fuse could cause a problem and so if you check that all out we checked out the wiring that all looks good checked out the fuses there's no blown fuses or nothing like that then very likely the sensor has just failed and just needs to be replaced one thing to keep in mind with these sensors is that sometimes they require a special tool not all the time sometimes you can't get them off without this it's going to depend on what tools you have and if it's recessed down like this one right here it's not recess down into a hole sometimes they could be down inside of the exhaust and you need that special tool so you have to go look and see if you have the tools to get it off because this wire is in the way and if it's recessed down then you will need it i'll put a link down below to show you what i'm talking about if you need to look at it but basically just go and look at it and check it out because you might need that special tool you might not but sometimes you do and so that's basically it i just wanted to give a real quick brief overview of how you go about fixing a toyota with the p0157 code if you have anything to add please comment down below if you have any questions ask me and I'll try to answer them. If this video helps you, please click like, please click subscribe, and have a good day.